Good morning, guys, and happy Thanksgiving to everyone today. I just kind of want to go through a small list and tell you guys what I'm thankful for. First and foremost, I am thankful for the great Lord above. Thankful for life, thankful for health, thankful for breath in my lungs. I'm thankful that I am able to get up today to enjoy it with my family. So thankful for him and uh, his salvation that he provided me for just saving me from what could eternally be damnation. I'm just thankful that he's in my life and that I am able to serve him throughout the rest of my days. Number two, I'm thankful for my friends. Well, I'm going to say family first. Because family is everything. Anybody who tells you that family doesn't mean something, they've probably been hurt in their life. But to me, family does mean something. I may not say much when I hang out with them, or I may not talk much about them, but they do know that they mean everything for me. Family's always been there for me when I need them. Even though they didn't have to be, they chose to be. I'm thankful for them. I'm thankful for my friends. Thankful for the fact that whenever I need somebody to talk to, they're always there. Especially my friends in Marshalltown. They're usually my go-to people. Miss them. i uh, thankful for... I guess for... Just thankful for people who... I may not know them, but they're always nice. Just like random strangers. For example, I'm thankful for the family called the Nichols. For those of you who really haven't been following my feed or understand what's going on in my life, I lost my job back in October. So I moved back home to live with my family to save money and uh, whatever. And I had to temporarily surrender my cats. That really sucked. But for the better up until I save up enough money to move out anyway went back to the place that I adopted my first cat which is Grayson and said hey I've asked everybody that I could to watch them until things get better for me financially and many people said no a lot of some people considered it and that, that meant a lot to me. And after they thought through it, they thought that, yeah, it's probably not the best idea. But they considered it. And for those people, I'm thankful for you. I know it's hard. And I know I'm not asking, or I wasn't asking, like, an easy favor. But I thank you. So I took the ARL, told them that everybody that I asked said no, because I couldn't do it. And they said, because we feel that the cats have found their forever home, we want to do whatever we can to help those people. And when the lady said yes, that she would help out with that, that meant the world to me. It meant the world to me, man. Because I want my cats to be loved. I want them to be in a warm home up until I bring them back. And just so incredibly thankful. And the family that is watching over them is called the Nichols. And they are not too far from Marshalltown. I believe they're in the Melbourne area. And they have uh, fostered animals uh, through the ARL through many, many years. And I'm just so thankful that both boys are together, that they're happy, that they're just good. And like I remember reading not too long ago in one of my books, I believe is my intro to theology book, where it talks about God's efficacious grace. Efficacious grace literally means effective grace. And grace means unmerited love. Or unmerited favor from God to his people. He loves us. Now I could go into the whole predestination thing. Where he goes in to talk about 
Well, God has an elect, a select sheep. And then the other is reprobate, which means that those select few go to hell. And I don't really want to go into that because I don't necessarily believe that. I believe that everybody can be saved if they're willing to basically turn from their evil ways, repent, and to have faith in something that they can't see. But it talks about efficacious grace, where it's effective. And God's love is totally effective. It always has been and always will be. If it was not effective, he wouldn't have so many people drawn toward him. Again, God is not a God that's going to force you to love him. He's going to give you ways and reasons to love him. And sometimes he allows bad things in our lives to turn us toward him. Even though he doesn't force it, he gives us reasons to be thankful for him. He gives us reasons to love him. He gives us reasons to praise him. So as you are sitting around the table today and saying thanks, definitely be saying thanks to the great Lord above. Because without him, we would not be here. You can tell me you believe in Buddhists. You can tell me you believe in Ali. You can tell me you believe in all these things. I believe those are fictitious. I'm not going to downgrade your faith because it's not what I'm here to do. I am here to tell you that my God is alive today. He didn't die with history. My Savior did raise from the dead, not spiritually but physically. And anybody who says different is speaking horrible things against the wonderful person that I serve. God loves you. I love you. Hope you have a great day. And God bless.